Hi friends, welcome back to Connect with Sue. This video deals with a very simple step which is a part of any kind of design procedure. For beginners, it will be useful. Others, please ignore. Area of steel to bars. Here are some drawings which shows the reinforcement detailing. This is a one-way slab sectional drawing. Here you can see this bar is marked as 8, 5 at 220 center to center. What does it mean? It means 8 mm diameter bars are placed at a center to center distance of 220 mm. Similarly, this we can read it as 8 mm dia bars are placed at a center to center distance of 110 mm. This is a column section. Here you can see uh, 8 hyphen 28 5 means 8 numbers of 28 mm dia bars are placed. In this beam section also you can see it is marked as 3 numbers of 28 mm dia bars are placed and here 3 numbers of 20 mm dia bars are placed. In this two-way slab uh, details, you can see 8 mm dia bars are placed at a center to center distance of 150 mm and uh, in this way it is 190 mm. In all these drawings, you can see the reinforcement bars are marked as some diameter and their corresponding spacing or numbers. So, while designing, we will get the area of steel. This area of steel is expressed as bars in the drawings as you have seen. In some drawings, diameter and numbers are mentioned and in others, diameter and spacing are mentioned. That is, the area of steel that we get while designed are converted and expressed in terms of bars of specified nominal diameter and number or spacing. Now let's see about number of bars. Main bars in beams and columns are usually expressed in numbers and reinforcement in structures with small dimensions usually less than or around 1 meter are also expressed in numbers. In such cases it won't be difficult to place the bars if we mention the number of bars to be placed. Let's move on to the calculation. Let AST is the area of the tension steel and AB is the cross-sectional area of one bar. That is, if phi is the diameter of the bar, AB will be equal to pi by, four, pi by 4 into phi square. And let N be the number of bars. So, we can rewrite AST as N into AB. So, N is equal to AST divided by AB is equal to AST divided by pi by 4 into phi square that is n is equal to total area of steel to be used divided by cross sectional area of one bar. Number of bars are always expressed as whole numbers. So after the calculation we have to round it off to the upper whole number. Now we can say n number of 5 mm dia bars that means we have converted AST in terms of bars of diameter phi and number m. Let's see about spacing. The spacing is used in slabs and elements with large dimensions where it will be difficult to place the reinforcement bars if we specify the numbers. And usually it is expressed as center to center spacing. As shown in the figure, the distance from the center of one bar to the center of the next bar is the center to center spacing. Let's go to the calculation part. Usually slab design is done for 1 meter strip. Let area of tension steel be AST and cross sectional area of one bar AB. Refer this figure in which 1 meter strip is marked and these are the uh, reinforcement placed within that 1 meter strip and let S be the center to center spacing. So we can calculate S as equal to 1000 that is 1000 mm divided by number of bars in 1 meter strip. Actually we have to divide by number of bars minus 1 
but since we are considering for a large dimension, we can ignore that. And we know n is equal to AST divided by AB. That is, S is equal to 1000 into AB divided by AST. And one more thing, round off the calculated value to the nearest lower multiples of 5 mm or 10 mm. This is to make the placement accurate at sight. Always remember to round it down, not up. So now let's see how do we calculate the spacing if we know the number of bars and dimension of the element. Look at the picture. In this, in this the circles are the reinforcing bars. Their cross section is shown. C represents the effective cover and S is the center to center spacing and L represents the dimension of the element. So in the first one you can see there are three number of bars and two numbers of S. Similarly, in the second one, there are 5 numbers of reinforcing bars and numbers of S is 4. So, always number of S will be 1 less than the number of reinforcing bars. So, now if we divide this length and this length in this figure by n minus 1, we will get the center to center spacing of the bars. So, in order to get this length, we have to deduct effective covers from both the sides from the dimension of the element. So we can conclude the center to center distance spacing S is equal to L minus 2C divided by N minus 1 where L is the dimension of the element, C is the effective cover and N is the number of reinforcing bars. The code specifies minimum and maximum limits for the spacing between parallel reinforcing bars in a layer. Let's see what it says regarding minimum limit. The minimum limits are necessary to ensure the easy placement of fresh concrete in between and around the bars. The clause 26.3.2 of IS456-2000 specifies the minimum distance between individual bars. That is clear spacing. Whatever spacing we are going to use should not be less than the limit specified here. First one is the horizontal spacing between two parallel main bars. It is the greatest of maximum bar diameter and nominal maximum size of force aggregate plus 5 mm. So first we have to calculate these two and the greatest of these two will be the minimum limit of horizontal distance between two parallel main bars. Next thing, if we use needle vibrators, the horizontal distance can be 2 by 3 of nominal maximum size of course aggregate. Next thing is about the vertical spacing that is if we have two or more rows of bars. So, minimum vertical spacing should be greatest of these three things that is 15 mm. Uh, 2 by 3rd of ma nominal maximum size of the course aggregate or the maximum bar diameter. We have to uh, see all of these three and the greatest of these uh, will be the minimum limit for the vertical spacing. The maximum limits are specified for the bars in tension for the purpose of controlling crack width and improving bond. Close 26.3.3 specifies the maximum distance between bars in tension. The first part is for beams and table 15 gives the maximum horizontal spacing depending on the redistribution percentages and the characteristic strength. Second part is for slabs and in that for parallel main bars we have to see 3 times the effective depth and 300 mm. Smaller of these two will be the maximum limit for spacing of parallel main bars. Regarding the distributors, we have to see 5 times the effective depth and 450 mm. Smaller of these two will be the maximum limit for spacing of parallel distributors. So that's all about converting area of steel to bars of specified no nominal diameters and number or spacing. I have explained how to calculate numbers and spacing and also the minimum and maximum limits of spacing. Thank you.